What's up, everyone? Molly Seems coming back at you with a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. And for you guys who are new, welcome. My name is Molly Seems, and my mission is to help you guys build yourself financially and to build the empire of your life. As you might have seen from the title already today, we're going to talk about the fastest and cheapest way to test dropshipping products in 2019. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about this. It's a huge thing to do and it's definitely going to help you guys to be able to go out there into your Facebook ads, into your Instagram ads and test products the most efficient, fastest and best way. So I'm going to jump into my computer, I've made some notes and I'm going to show it to you live inside the Facebook ads manager. So let's jump straight into it. So inside of my computer right here, I've made a quick word document so I can walk you guys through it. Just the basics of it, as you can see, this is the fastest and cheapest way to test your dropshipping products in 2019. So I made another video, I will link it in the descriptions down below, explaining you guys the rapid WC testing method. That is basically explaining you how did you can start off with the purchase objective when you're running your ad so you don't have to go through PPE. This is just a short breakdown of that video. You can watch it. I will definitely recommend you to guys to watch it. It will be a link in the description down below. But basically, when you are running your ads, your campaigns and your ad sets, this is based on your ad sets. So watch the other video, pause this video, watch the other video, that will be the easiest or you can watch it afterwards, that is up to you. Anyway, the rapid rockaway WC testing method goes like this. So on your first day, after at least 24 hours, if you don't have any VC, which is view content on your ad set, you're running three to eight different ad sets. If you don't have any VCs, kill that ad set. So a view content is a person who clicked your ad and viewed the content on your page. If you don't have any of those on your specific ad set, kill that ad set. So maybe there are some ad sets, you will then have four left. Then on day two, after 48 hours at least, you can wait more than 48 hours. This is just the fastest way. You need to wait at least 48 hours. After 48 hours, the ad sets that you have not yet gotten any add to carts on, ATCs, add to cart, you want to kill those ad sets. And if you have any ad sets left on day three, you can let some ad sets run as well which has a lot of VCs, but no ads, ads to cards. If you wanna let the product run, you can. This is just the fastest way to do it. You can wait more than 48 hours. You can wait 72 hours. Instead of two days, you can wait three days. The longer time you wait, the better, because you give longer time to the pixel and to the algorithm to optimize for your ad sets. But after at least 72 hours, so after three days, the ad sets that you have not yet gotten any purchases on, you kill those ad sets and then you can move on to scale those which are performing well. So this is just the fastest way that you could do it. Well, um, one of the ways that I'm doing it, sometimes I'm waiting more than three days. Sometimes I will wait five or seven days. This is just the fastest way to do it, but it also gives the least amount of possibility for the product to work due to you don't give the, that much time to the ad sets. So you could go like three days so you could do like this, two, three, four instead. So you could say after two days, then kill the ad sets without any view content. After three days, kill the ad sets without any ads or cards. And after four days, kill the ad sets after, with no purchases. That is totally up to you. This is probably better than the other one. The other one is just the fastest way, but gives the algorithm the least amount of data. So moving on. So the campaign setup, this is for your testing of your product, right? So I'm going to jump in in a second. In a second, I'm going to jump into my ads manager and show you guys live. I'm gonna set up for a random product and I'm gonna explain it to you guys. But basically the campaign setup is that you have one campaign, you have three to eight ad sets inside of that campaign with one ad, so one ad creative and one ad copy in each of them. So the ad set structure will be that you have two to three different locations in all. So throughout the three to eight different ad sets, you want at least two to three different locations. So not all of the eight different ad sets is, for example, the United States, maybe three of them are for the United States, four of them are for worldwide or vice versa. As you can see right here, as an example, I set the G5, which is the grade five, and then WW, which stands for worldwide. The importance is that you have different interest groups in your ad sets which is called algorithmic targeting, algorithmic groups of interests. You wanna choose the feed for Facebook and Instagram, 
both on mobile and desktop because the desktop has higher conversion rate. So you can just pop that in there to test, right? You can choose either of them. If you know the product is performing better on either Facebook or Instagram, you can choose either of the platforms. Let's say you are selling an iPhone case for the youth that is most likely going to perform a lot better on Instagram than Facebook because the majority of the youth like to buy products that they see from Instagram, like cases and stuff like that, rather than from Facebook. But that is based on, you know, knowledge and stuff. So if you know the product is performing better on either Instagram or Facebook, you can exclude either of them. And then you want to choose a seven day click or one day view, which is, I'm going to show I'm going to jump into the ads manager right now and show you guys. So that was basically it. You can sort of like post the video, read it through if you want to, but I'm going to jump into my ads manager right now. So inside of my computer right here, inside of the test ads manager that I made, I'm going to show you guys how you can basically set up your campaigns. So I'm going to walk you through it, all of it. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. When you press the create an ad, it might be looking like this. I'm just going to show it to you guys. When you are starting to create a new campaign, it might look like this. I prefer to walk through it at quick creation. That's how I've always done it. How I like to do it the best. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it on, in the quick creation. You guys can do it in the other one as well, but this is the easiest way and fastest way as we were talking about. This is about speed to find you guys the winning product the fastest way. So I'm using the quick creation. So campaign name, you guys can schedule or set up, structureize your campaign name the way that you do it. I often do it like this. So give it a name, like a, like a number. And then this in the middle is the campaign objective. So I call it WC for website conversions. And then I will give it an sort of like an explanation of which type of product that I'm running inside of this campaign. For this campaign, we're going to do a dog color. So basically just a general dog product. If you're in dog niche, this is probably a great video for you as well. Or if you're in the pet niche, same strategy, right? Same strategy in every niche. This is just specifically for dogs pets stuff like that it's just an example right so as you can see right here as we were talking about before we have one campaign now we have one ad set and we have one ad the only thing that we're going to change now is the amount of ad sets that we have here before that we are going to review and publish the the campaign so what we would do is you want to jump into ad sets what you can do is you can either when you have marked it you can say see there's a little check mark right here you can either press ad sets or you can basically press the campaign. It's a link. Boom. You can see the different tabs. We are inside of ad sets right now. You want to press the edit button. You can press that over here as well, I think. Yeah, like that. Edit. I always just press the edit button below. As you can see, it pops up. Edit. What you want to do then is you want to choose a convert. You want to choose an event and then you want to choose purchase which is WC, that is purchase. You can choose add to cart as well or view content, but Facebook have become really, really great at giving you exactly what you ask for when you're doing your, your, your objective, your conversion event. So if you choose the add to cart, you get a lot of add to carts, but it is great to start off with add to cart sometimes and then move towards purchases later on if you want to give your pixel more data. Uh, but you can start off with purchase as well, that's fine. We're gonna start purchase for this specific um, example. The reason why they are red is because it's it's a test ads account. So I haven't set it, I haven't connected it to any Shopify store. But basically for the budget and schedule, we're going to say six bucks, um, six or seven. I do have a video about why I'm using six or seven bucks rather than five. I will link the, the video in the description down below. It's called how to get $5 ad sets to work by not making them $5. Anyway, you can watch it in the description down below. But $6 ad sets, when you're doing your campaigns and your ad sets and your ads in general, you always wanna launch them at midnight, specifically when you're testing your products, because they're gonna give the most amount of time for your ad sets to optimize, and it will be the easiest to analyze. So we're gonna start it tomorrow, which will be the 24th of February at 12.00 AM, which is at midnight. Moving on, the audience, this is where you choose your targeting, this is where you find your target audience, the specific people that are going to see your ad. So inside of the audience, we this custom audience is something specifically totally different. That is not something that you're going to look at when you're doing your testing with your cold traffic. Cold traffic is just based on interest, people who haven't seen your store before. 
So locations, it's important that you choose people who live in this location, otherwise it will also be shown to people who are visiting the specific countries, like tourists. But this specifically is people who have an address in the given country that you're choosing. For example, if I were visiting LA, I could get an ad if it were shown everyone lit is in this location, but if it was people who live in this location, I wouldn't see that specific ad because I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. So it's important that you choose this one because that tends to have a higher conversion rate because people will see ads while they're in their own country and they are easier to have the product shipped to them, right? Anyway, moving on. For the first ones right here, we will do the G5. As you can see, I have a saved location that is easier to than putting in every one of them. And the way that you can do that is you're gonna press the create list. You're gonna say countries and we can put in United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and United Kingdom. There we go. As you can see, you say match locations. It will have found five locations, which is called the grade five, the top five English speaking countries. And I call it G5, call it um, part two, because I always really have one called that. Boom. So right now, as you can see, we have the five top English speaking countries. As, as we were talking about before, this is going to be one of the locations that we're going to choose. I will do worldwide and G5 for this specific video, for this specific example. So moving on, we have the gender as, and we're going to choose 20 plus. So 64 and the reason why I up the age a little bit is because the when you're a bit older you tend to have a better conversion rate you have more money to spend so I do like to go at least uh, 20 sometimes 22 sometimes 24 and then women tend to buy more products in the pet niche that's just based on knowledge language English because it's important that every people who sees your ads knows how to speak the English language. Then we're gonna do the targeting. I'm gonna start off with dogs because this is dog color that we're targeting. So dogs is the first one, as you can see, we have 64 million people. Narrow down and then we're gonna choose some brands. So we have BarkBox like that. And then we're gonna put in PetSmart and Petco. So we're gonna pop in a bunch of different brands related to dogs. Then we're gonna scroll down. And as we were talking about a bit early in the video, we're going to choose the feed on Instagram and feed on Facebook. As you can see right here, we have feed on Facebook and feed on Instagram. Scroll a bit down and we want to choose seven day click and one day view, which is the right one. And boom, we have our first ad set. So the way that you can do it normally, I've just gotten a bit lazy. So you can go ahead and rename your, your ad sets as you want to. But this one, I'm just going to call that G5.1. That's normally how I do it. And then I'm just going to create three or four different ones and then I'm going to duplicate them into worldwide. But for an example, we can say like, like, like brains like that. Boom. And then you are going to press the duplicate button right here. That is the easiest thing to do. It would duplicate everything that you just created. And the only thing that we can jump in right now and, and change, or the only thing that we're going to change is the interest. So as you can see, it has, it has automatically opened the new duplicate that we created. So you want to scroll down and what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to target basically some other brands. I like to do that. So pet land, pet store like that. And then we can narrow down with online shopping on this one. Basically when you're doing your record targeting, it's all about to split test different things. As you can see, we had dogs and then we have pet store and pet land. So pet store and pet land is obviously for different types of pets, but because we chose dogs, we noted specifically people who are interested in dogs and who normally shops at these specific stores and who are interested in buying stuff online. So that is going to be our brands um, part two. So you can call it like part two like that. And then we're going to create a third one. Let's see what we have of different things. So for this one, we can choose like, we're gonna choose like um, fan pages, which is another algorithmic group of interest. So I'm gonna keep the dogs. Do you like in, in the dog niche and in the pet niche to keep like, if it was cats, I would have written cat like that. Um, right, now, right now we're going with dogs because we're targeting a dog product. What we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in, I love, I love dogs. I love my dog. I probably love like that. I 
love dogs like that boom that is two big facebook pages related to dogs so that right now we have three different ad sets as you can see we have three different ad sets in the g5 which is the top five english speaking countries what we can do then is uh, what i normally do is right now we have united states australia united kingdom canada and new zealand inside of these ad sets so you can mark all of them like this you mark all of them you press the duplicate button and then you duplicate all three ad sets so we now have six ad sets in total and we want to edit the new ones that we just created you can see it's called copy 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 so what you can do is you can edit multiple ad sets names at the same time by pressing the view and edit so you want to remove the copy so delete 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 and you want to change the g5 you know it, it all depends on what locations that you choose right it's all it depends on your ad sets this is just the structure of it you want to do it your way but we're going to go for worldwide like this and then you can just copy that and replace the g5 that is sort of like the easiest way to do it you want to say save to draft as you can see right now it changed to uh, worldwide and it, we still have the same type of interest if you scroll down you can see we have marked all of them so all of the different interests that we just did for the g5 will have been duplicated and be the exact same but what we can do then is you can jump in and say country so you press all countries in the whole world and then you're gonna exclude specific countries and you want to press worldwide exclude and I'm gonna link all of those countries in in like a, a in like a word document down below so you guys can grab that and create a list for it so you can exclude all of those countries you do it the same way you create a save you create a list under save locations and you just want to press the exclude instead of include so exclude those countries and then we have for the worldwide as you can see right now we have six different ad sets if I mark all of them you can see we have one campaign six ad sets and we have six ads in total but that is one ad specifically for all of the different ad sets and inside of the ads right here you can see if you press the edit button of course you would have put it in your existing post that is the important thing you put in your existing post right here from your ad that you have created i can create another video of that if you don't know how to do it let me know in the comment section down below if you don't know how to create an existing post but otherwise you put in your post id right here for all of the ads and then you have six different ad sets that you can test based on the strategy that i gave you remember to go ahead and watch the video of my wc rapid testing method that will make it easy for you to understand which ad sets to kill and when to kill them i hope you guys got something useful out of this video please give it a like if you did hit the notification bell and the subscribe button to always be up to date whenever i upload i would really appreciate it if you could leave a comment down below what you thought of the video if you thought it was helpful and then please give it a like and as always i hope you all have a successful and wonderful day bye